What's up YouTube, it's Rob back with another video. I have here a privacy screen from GPL. They were nice enough to send this out. So, shouts out to GPL. They wanted me to test this out. I've worked with GPL before, used some of their stuff. Uh, um, they have uh, the glue around the edge type of setup for these curved screen protectors. There's only a couple of companies out there that will do a full adhesive um, display. But GPL is not one of them, but I have been somewhat satisfied with uh, some of their products. And I told them that I don't mind trying out their privacy one. Now, what's cool about this privacy tempered glass, let me break it down for you. It does have what they call a 60 degree viewing angle, meaning if you're looking straight down, the screen will appear to you as a, as a regular screen. You will get the full um, view of your display. It's not supposed to be any type of um, degrading of the actual screen and when you have a phone like Samsung that's probably one of the biggest selling points of this phone is its display and you do not want to hinder that in any way shape or form but what this privacy tip of glass do is cut down on the angles from your left and your right and stop people from peeping over your shoulders you know maybe at work or when you're riding a train or a bus or whatever and looking at what you're reading what you're texting and those type of in those type of situations uh, it does have 9H on the hardness scale. It does have an oblophobic coating that helps cut down on fingerprint. Bubble-free installation. They do say it is a high definition and it is 3D touch compatible, shatterproof. And if you have any problems with the actual touch sensitivity, you can go into your settings under accessibility and upgrade, up, you know, hit your uh, touch sensitivity option so you can have a more active, you can have the touch not be hindered in any way. So again, you can go into the accessibility, touch sensitivity, turn that on, and the touch sensitivity should increase just in case you feel any kind of latency based on the screen protector. Uh, what you get inside here is you get a, a happy that you bought our product. It does give you instructions on how to go set up your touch sensitivity on your phone, help you find it with this card. And let's get to the screen protector accessories. Screen protector, you get a guide, place over that, and you lay your screen protector in there as part of the installation. Let's go ahead and clean it up and get this baby dropped on there. Don't have the tape, alcohol prep pad, microfiber cloth. I like to add a little dust off. This guy helps the screen protector be case friendly. Drop it in there. No problem. Before we get to that. Perfect installation. Shouldn't be no problem with it. You can see how thin it is. Check the angles. When you square up with it. Let me turn the brightness up on it. I'm almost at max brightness. Again, when you square up with it and you tilt it, square up, and when you tilt it. Now, whether or not this degrades the screen too much for you, that's pretty much depends on you as a user. But if this screen protector does offer you some benefit from prying eyes, then this may be something you may want to try out. Uh, these type of screen protectors I do use on vacation, especially when you're sitting on an airplane, and especially if you got that middle seat or you got somebody who just like to pry to your to their left or to their right to see what you're doing on your phone. This will keep those prying eyes away from you. So at the same time, you may not see a everyday use for this. There is a use for this type of screen protector, like I said, depending on 
uh, if you're the kind of person who travels or work in crowded spaces. This GPL privacy screen protector retails for $19.99. It is Amazon Prime. If you think this is something you can use with this blackout privacy viewing with daytime clarity style uh, screen protector, feel free to pick one up. I'll leave the links to that down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you uh, don't mind, you can share this out to those who may be interested in something like this. Other than that, I'll catch everybody in the next video. See ya.